Good morning. It is Friday, October 27th, and we're going to get you caught up with what happened this week in Doniana County. And what's coming up next week? What's the MBFFON? It's the magic blue folder full of news. That's what it is. And on Tuesday, we had our regular meeting of the Board of County Commissioners. 23 items on the agenda. Uh, lots to talk about, including three issues related to the spaceport. We had a wonderful presentation by Dan Hicks. He's the executive director at Spaceport. He told us where, we're, where we've been, where we're going. And uh, he announced that Sir Richard Branson has received his federal launch certificates. So uh, Virgin Galactic is prepping up, ramping up to get ready to launch from Spaceport America. That's really exciting. And as part of that excitement, uh, the Board of County Commissioners, by a four to one vote on Tuesday, uh, approved the construction of the uh, improvements to the Southern Road leading from uh, Doniana County up to Spaceport America. That'll be a paved road. Uh, we're, the county manager's going to negotiate it. We're looking at about $13 million in state funding that's already available. We're going to try and get a little bit more. Uh, $15 million would allow us to go to the top of the line of the road construction. We've got four different options. All of them meet county and state uh, requirements. So it's going to be up to standards no matter which way we go on that thing. And it'll allow people to get to the spaceport from uh, Doniana County. That's going to be a great boom for everybody. Also on that agenda, the Board of County Commissioners uh, recommended that the legislature uh, give enough operational and infrastructure funding to the spaceport to help it uh, capitalize on all of its potential as we move toward uh, flight by Virgin Galactic. We also had a great presentation by, by one of our uh, county attorneys, Tom Feigart, talked about all the stuff that's going on with El Paso Electric Company and how uh, those cases are winding their ways through the New Mexico Public Regulation Commission. So if you were unable to watch it live or stream live off our website, uh, you can catch it on our website. You can go click on it and, and watch the video or you can watch it uh, next Thursday at 6 30 p.m. on Comcast channel 20 coming up well actually on Wednesday of this last week we had uh, the indigent funeral services for 19 people whose uh, remains were never claimed for two years uh, we are required by state law to hold those remains for two years in hopes that somebody will come forward for them they didn't uh, we had a, a beautiful service over at St. Joseph Cemetery and uh, we were very honored uh, this is the first year that we've had a law enforcement presence. Uh, they, the Las Cruces Police and New Mexico State Police actually escorted the remains from the government center to St. Joseph's uh, in advance of that uh, ceremony. So that was a, a real nice addition as well. Uh, we do this every year and I've been uh, privileged the last seven years to uh, be asked to do the officiating. Uh, there were some photographs and we'll get something up on our website so you can see something about that. Coming up on uh, Saturday, we're going to have an event right here at the government center starting at 9 a.m. Commissioner John Voskis is co-hosting a day to change directions. This is for area veterans, their families, and friends. Uh, it's an opportunity to talk about their, their stress and, and PTSD and all the things that go along with that and uh, to talk about ways that they can get the resources they need and the care that they need. So we hope to see a good crowd here at the Government Center on Saturday. And of course, always on Saturday, the Animal Services Center in the Mesilla Valley is set up at the north end of the Farmer's Market downtown. And uh, they'll be doing all kinds of neat things uh, in terms of adopting out dogs. And they'll also be set up on Saturday at Petco from 10 to 2. On Monday, uh, Commissioner Ben Rawson is going to be hosting a constituent services hour at the Los Alturas Fire Station. That gets underway at 5.30 p.m. It'll go about an hour. We're going to have uh, people there from our constituent services office here at the county, as well as people there from uh, Congressman Steve Pierce's office. So if you have issues with local, state, or federal government, we're not guaranteeing you we can solve the problems on Monday evening at the firehouse, but we can sure point you in the right direction and make sure that your concerns are heard. Coming up on Tuesday, the Board of County and Commissioners is going to have a work session at 9 a.m. here in the Government Center. We're going to talk about the Crisis Triage Center. This is a matter of uh, great interest to a whole lot of people, and the work session is dedicated to that topic. So we hope to get a good crowd here for that. And don't forget, that'll be streaming live on the website as well. Uh, we talked a little bit about this last week. I want to hit it again that the Dunyana County Sheriff's Department partnering up with a a company called Leads Online. And Leads Online is a, a initiative by which you can register your valuables online with the serial number. And in the unlikely and, and unhappy event that you're the victim of a burglary, then uh, that links all the pawn shops with law enforcement together so that we can hopefully track down your items as quickly as possible. If you'd like to uh, register for that, you send an email to citizen at leadsonline.com and that gets the process started. It's absolutely free. 
unless you need a whole lot of space, then you could pay a nominal amount for that. But most homeowners uh, should be able to do this absolutely free. Uh, if you look at today's Las Cruces Bulletin, there's lots of information about some of the things we talked about today, as well as some great Halloween tips to make sure all of our trick-or-treaters stay safe out there on Tuesday. Have a happy Halloween, and we'll see you next week. You're up to date.